Hello there and welcome to the Bicycle Diaries and welcome to week 16 of my Mallorca training plan. Last week was pretty epic. The weather was fantastic, it was sunny, it was warm and I managed to accumulate my longest week on the bike for the year so far. But then this week it all turned to crap. Basically the weather forecast is not looking good. Uh, so far it's looking like it's going to be raining pretty much for the rest of the week but instead of being disappointed maybe I should be taking this as an opportunity to give myself a bit of rest and recovery from the hard week that I had last week. That said though I will probably need to go out towards the end of this week just to maintain my fitness. Welcome to today's ride. As you can see I'm back in the winter long kit again because the weather's just taken a turn for the worse. Last week if you were watching you'll see that uh, I was in short kit, clear blue skies, sunny, warm and today it's grey, overcast and about uh, 10 degrees Celsius so it's pretty cold. The only good thing about today is that there's uh, very little wind as for today's route, not 100% sure where I'm going, feeling a little uninspired today if I'm being honest, so I'll just start pedalling and see where I end up. It's a bit strange because a year ago today or a year ago yesterday I rode the 2019 edition of the uh, Isle of Wight Randonnée and it was very similar weather pretty cold very very windy though um, but the ride itself was quite good unfortunately I should have been riding that today but um, obviously that's been cancelled due to the world situation at the moment Hopefully we'll do it next year. The weather for the rest of this week hasn't been all that great either. Um, it's been raining quite a lot and uh, it's amazing how much the weather influences my uh, motivation to ride because it was raining I just didn't fancy even going into the garage and doing the turbo today's my third ride I did a ride out on Monday because the weather was still quite nice and warm then and then I tried to do the jolly good velo uh, meet up on Zwift but unfortunately had some technical issues so I had to cut that short went out yesterday and did uh, a ride down to Hailing Island which was quite nice and then um, obviously today's ride yes ride number four so um, just taking it nice and easy today didn't vlog yesterday's ride down to Hailing Island and that was because it started off quite quick um, I had every intention of vlogging it but I like to do the first 28 kilometers of that route in an hour or under if possible and, and it looked like I was going to do that but um, yeah one thing and another the wind picked up and uh, I didn't quite manage it but the thing that amazed me was that um, the last time I rode down there the roads were just so quiet due to the lockdown but there was definitely 
more people out and about yesterday so even though we are still officially on lockdown it seemed to me yesterday that people were taking it upon themselves to kind of ease it a bit uh, I don't know if that's a good or a bad thing really Again, one of the benefits of the lockdown is air quality. Um, my ride yesterday, my breathing was so much easier and that's obviously due to uh, really nice air quality. Well, that was interesting I thought I'd take uh, a turn up a road that I've never ever ridden or driven up in my entire life and uh, it came to a dead end and it appeared there was a family exploring the uh, the trails on mountain bikes watching last week's vlog you'll know that I'm riding my trek at the moment and that's because my Cannondale's got a broken spoke and that's being fixed at the moment you'll also know that last week I was tinkering with the position on the trek and I just moved the saddle forward just about a centimeter and a half or half a centimeter or so actually and I have to say it feels absolutely amazing it feels like a complete different bike Welcome to rural Hampshire. Oddly enough, I was reading something about air quality this week, and it appears that uh, because there are so fewer cars and people in central London that the air quality there is almost as good as rural Hampshire. So far it seems that the new wheels that I put on this bike last week uh, seem to be holding up quite well. I initially thought they were a bit heavier than the original Bon Traeger ones and uh, well that might well be the case but uh, they seem to roll okay seem to be uh, nice and solid so far but then yeah they've only been on a week so I wouldn't expect them to have any issues or problems this early in Now that this bike is fitting me really really well it's going to give me the opportunity to focus on my cadence and really improve my pedaling technique mind you the big elephant in the room at the moment for me is my endurance the longest ride I've done this year so far has only been 65 kilometers and uh, I really do need to start working on being able to ride some longer distances Well, there we go not the longest ride today but still 20 kilometers in the bank of fitness hopefully the weather will improve next week I can get back into the short kit and maybe even go out and start building that endurance up
So this ride brings my total for the week to 86 kilometers ridden, three hours and 45 minutes of seat time, and I've climbed 626 meters. So that brings the year total to 1,619 kilometers ridden, 71 hours and 15 minutes of seat time, and 10,400 meters climbed. And if we go over to Strava, we can see that on Monday, my fitness score was 54. On Saturday, when I rode to Hailing, it was 52. And then today, it was 51. And would you believe that the curse of the flaky Garmin strikes again? Basically, it didn't record today's ride. Now, that's a bit of a shame because up until now, I've been kind of enjoying using it again. And that's been thanks to two of the functions that it has, namely the Strava Live segments and the virtual training partner. And indeed, I used the virtual training partner to go out on Monday evening and beat my PR for the whole of the Edney's Lane course. Now, if you're a regular viewer of this vlog, you'll know that the Edney's Lane route is 25 kilometers long and fairly challenging. Basically, I like to do it, if possible, in under an hour. Now previously my PR for the course was 57 minutes but on Monday thanks to the uh, virtual training partner and indeed the lack of wind I managed to go out and complete it in 54 minutes so I was really pleased with that. That said I'm really looking forward to going back and using my Karoo. Basically the reason I'm not using it is all very dull and boring. Essentially the mount on the trek isn't long enough to hold it. Now one of the few disadvantages with the Karoo was that it didn't have Strava Live segments, but last week Hammerhead announced that this feature will now be available in the new firmware upgrade that should be with us any day now. They also announced the release of the Karoo 2. Now I've only ever seen it in pictures, um, it looks slightly smaller than the Karoo one. Um, I'm hoping it's going to have the same kind of basic functionality plus a bit more. Uh, and I'm rather excited when they say that it will be a game changer as far as cycling computers go. So I'm really looking forward to see what that's all about. As I set out on the road, today I should have been riding the Isle of Wight Randonnée, but unfortunately it was cancelled. Now of course I'm a bit disappointed about that, but I have to admit that I'm also a little bit relieved as well. Basically my current level of fitness is such that I think I would have struggled to do the 110 km course. Now obviously that is down to my lack of fitness at the moment, but is that because I've been in lockdown or is it basically because I've been a lazy devil? Unfortunately we're not going to find out this year, it's a, it's a question that will have to remain until next year, but in the meantime I will be reposting the film I made of last year's randonnée just to give you an idea of what the ride's all about. So okay, it's not been the most amazing week for me on the bike this week, and I have lacked a little bit of motivation, but I'm still feeling pretty good about the distances that I put in last week. Now the weather forecast for next week is looking much, much better, so I hope to go out and do my single longest ride of the year. And finally, if you're enjoying the channel and you'd like to contribute to it in some way, uh, please go over to my Patreon page. I'll leave a link in the description below and you can sign up. That way you'll really be helping me out during this strange time. So I hope that wherever you are, you and the people that you care about are staying safe and well. And thanks for watching. <laughs>